President Edgar Lungu has ordered a restriction of movement of people in and out of Kafue tomorrow to allow for a thorough cleanup of the district. Now, Health Minister Chitalu Chilufia has announced that during the routine briefings um, that health authorities will conduct mass screenings and testings in Kafue. Now, Dr. Chilufia said this uh, will allow the health authorities to quantify the extent of the COVID-19 problem in Kafue. We have a report. Following the classification of Kafue as a COVID-19 hotspot, government has gone a step further to order a restriction of movements into and out of the district for 24 hours on Wednesday, April 15. The move is meant to ensure massive screening and testing for COVID-19. Health Minister Chitalu Chilufia announced the measure during the routine updates in Lusaka. His Excellency the President of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagulungu, has authorized the invocations of provisions of Section 5.1 and 2.12.2 of Statutory Instrument Number 21 and 22 of the Laws of Zambia 2020 to restrict movement of the people in Kafue, in and out of Kafue, tomorrow, Wednesday, 15th April 2020, to ensure that health workers do mass screening and targeted testing in all the hotspots. This strategic massive screening and targeted testing will help us est establish the exact extent of the problem in Kafue. Meanwhile, the country has in the last 24 hours not recorded any laboratory confirmed COVID-19 cases. Dr. Chalufia said this is from the 43 tests which were conducted. This therefore leaves the cumulative number of cases of COVID-19 45 with two deaths, 30 recoveries and leaving 13 under our care in various facilities. All our patients are stable, including the 74-year-old man who was surviving on intermittent oxygen support. The health minister said the country is moving a step further by increasing surveillance and testing for COVID-19. All hospitals in Lusaka are directed to ensure that in all the medical wards and all the pediatric wards and in the outpatient departments, patients who, re who present with a fever or with respiratory sy symptoms are tested for COVID. All people who appear as persons brought in date will need to be swapped for COVID-19. And Information and Broadcasting Services Minister Doris Leah advised bus operators and owners to adjust the number of passengers ferried in view of the pandemic. The Minister of Communication and Transport has advised if we can fill the buses at least 50%, if we can mask our faces, if we can observe social distancing, then we can actually save our lives. The owners of the buses have to participate in this fight against the coronavirus. More stakeholders have continued partnering with government in the COVID-19 fight, with the Association of Indian Community in Zambia donating an assortment of items valued at about 5 million kwacha. And the Zambia Union of Government and Allied Workers gave hand sanitizers and hand soaps valued at 30,000 kwacha while Nature Plates Investment Limited donated mineral water, energy drinks and noodles. Sharon Konda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.